What's up guys, Dimebot here. Now it should come as no secret that I've been spending a lot of time with Metal Gear Solid 5. And today I thought we would take a look at some things to do in Mother Base. So I'm going to go ahead and head back to our command platform here and talk about all the things you can do at your floating industrial military home away from home. Now as you can see I've been out in the field on ops for a little while. Uh, Snake is beaten up. He's bloody. He's not really having the best time of it right now, so... The first thing that we're going to do when we land, and the first thing that you should do whenever you land, is go take a shower. As you stay out in the field on field ops, you get bloody, you get smelly, and eventually you can even get flies buzzing around your head. That will give away your position to the enemy. Not only that, it lowers your staff's morale back at Mother Base if you stay gone too long, and they won't really appreciate it when you show back up and you absolutely stink. So, every platform has a shower. Uh, they're pretty easy to find if you look on the map. Right here, you see the little shower head icon. So, nice and easy to find. So just hop on out. Oh, hi, quiet. And go take a shower, because honestly, you stink. Alright, this next one is not so much a thing you should do as a trick that you can do to make your life a little easier when traveling around. Why don't you just get in your cardboard box on one of these loading docks and just hang out for a minute. You will eventually... Or you'll be able to hold Y, rather, sorry, and you will be able to send yourself wherever you want to. It's a lot quicker than driving your jeep, it's a lot quicker than stand sitting in the helicopter while Pequod takes his sweet time deciding how he's going to get there. Well, as you can see, here we are. And now that we've arrived, this is going to head on around in this direction. Door here. <laughs> oh, Snake, why you move so clunky? Welcome home, boss. Thank you, thank you. We'll get to you guys in just a minute, I promise. So, one of the other things that you can do is participate in these little target shooting minigames. Now, there's one on pretty much every platform. They are sometimes a little annoying to actually get to, but... And here we are. Now, once you get there, you can just press Y to commence the target practice. And as you can see, it's not exactly like the targets are hard to see. Uh, this one is actually not one of my more liked ones because it's up on this top of this platform. There are 35 targets in total. That holds true for pretty much all of the target shooting ops. So, and they'll have you Moving in a variety of different ways. This one's actually a bit of a pain. Ooh, a diamond. Well, we're not going to be able to get back up there and finish that other one off, but... You do get the point. So, yeah, these are a nice little way to just earn some quick, tidy GMP. Nice and easy. If sometimes aggravating. And a lot of them will teach you a little bit about traversal on the platform as well. So the third thing we want to talk about that you should always do at Mother Base is interact with your men. So as I walk around the base in this video, 
You'll notice that as I pass them, they talk to me, they salute, and you might see staff morale increased. Now, you can also grab them, and you can interrogate them. And oftentimes they'll have a little tidbit, or they'll tell you about something happening in the field, such as the enemy shipping in more effective body armor or helmets in response to your own actions. And this guy doesn't have anything for where are your friends, but sometimes they'll tell you where rough diamonds are located on Mother Base. And then you can knock them out. And then you can kick them to wake them up. And then, once they've recovered, a lot of the times, they'll thank you. See? Uh, you'll also hear lots of little side conversations about D-Dog, which I find hilarious. Alright, now this last tip may seem obvious, but one thing you should always do is make sure that you are training or managing your staff. Not just your resources, not just your development, but your actual staff. So, of course, you can come in here and you can just simply go to all staff and auto assign them. However, sometimes you may want to unlock something. So, let's take a look here. Go over to the Fulton. Now, my support unit is level 14, and I don't have a transportation specialist. However, if I did have the transportation specialist right now, what I could do is transfer some people out of, say, the combat unit to get the support unit up to level 16, unlock that item, research it, and then redeploy them automatically, because... You only have to unlock the research. You don't actually have to have the level constantly available. You just have to develop it once, and then it's unlocked. So make sure you're going in, looking at upgrades that you really want, and paying attention to what you actually need to do to unlock them as far as requirements, because you'll be surprised how often you can simply move a few people around and unlock something new that might really help you out in battle. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about is visiting your animal conservation platforms. Early on in the game, you're going to get a side op, well, ongoing side up, to rescue animals that you find in the combat zone. You can do this by trapping them with traps or tranking them and attaching full recovery devices to them. Now, they actually go to their own separate platform, so what you're going to want to do is get on your helicopter, and hit the X button to transfer platforms. Now, you hit Y here to go to the animal conservation platform, and you'll see right here mine is, right now, pretty simple, just three. Now, the reason that you want to visit here, aside from obviously seeing all the, uh, well, I wouldn't call them adorable, but the animals that you've rescued, is actually because you can do a fair amount of resource harvesting here pretty easily. So these are a complete other set of platforms. They auto-build themselves. You don't really do a lot of upgrading or anything to them. But you'll see them right here below. Could this guy land any slower? Yeah, oh, Pequod. There's also a neat little touch right here. You'll see no flash photography, no thrown objects, no smoking, no cl no guns. Tranks are okay. No pets. Fulton is okay. So you don't actually bring D Dog here or anything, which is kind of a shame. But I guess it makes sense. But, once you're here, what you're going to want to do is just walk on down into one of the enclosures here. And if you take a look around, you'll see... Uh, 
Okay, we've just picked up three Digitalis. There's some donkeys I rescued in Africa. So this is a fantastic reason to come back to Mother Base or to the Animal Conservation Platform, rather, because you can just go ahead and very quickly rack up on some of the supplies that you need uh, plant-wise. So yeah, it's it's quick, it's easy. Nothing's going to be shooting at you. No reason not to do it. And a lot of people, I think, forget that this aspect of Mother Base is here. So make sure that you do that. Uh, it'll take you a little while, obviously, to build up a decent supply of animals, but it's well worth it, and I highly recommend taking the time to do it whenever possible during a mission. All right, guys. Well, this has been a look at things to do in Mother Base in Metal Gear Solid 5. I will be doing some more of these, including things to do while you're out in the field. So, I want to thank you for watching. My name is Dinebot. Later. Like what you saw? Click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Or click on one of these other videos.